Hi guys, what's up? This is actually gonna be a different kind of video. Um, I asked some guys over at uh, the Facebook group of uh, Marvel Future Fight uh, about how I should go about uploading uh, my content, my Shadowland clearing content. And one of them actually brought a new idea because I only put two options either uploading each uh, floor separately as I as I've been doing or uh, uploading a full uncut take of my weekly Shadowland clears uh, for now it seems like uh, people like the separate video per floor idea but uh, one guy uh, actually suggested uh, me to make a video on uh, and explain how Shadowland works like since this is a series for beginners it makes sense that I would uh, also explain how it works what uh, you should do for each floor and which floor it's better uh, is better for you which floor you should choose you know stuff like that um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, but first uh, I got an, an idea on uh, showing new players how to manage everything and how to go about doing every mission, all the things, and how to manage your account basically to get the max out of it. And I'm gonna start by I'm gonna start with uh, energy first, because right here you can see that. Uh, I'm almost gonna go into full energy and this is uh, uh, about five or six hours before the reset, the daily reset. So uh, for me the daily resets, uh, reset happens uh, at 5 p.m. and when the time changes, uh, the clock changes, it uh, will happen in, at uh, 4 p.m. which will suck a bit more but it's okay, I'm gonna explain everything. So. Basically, one, what you need to do is uh, after the reset hits, you want to play uh, as much as you can and uh, cl clear every daily thing uh, as soon as you can, uh, so that uh, you can start generating new energy, which you can there, uh, which you can after uh, completing every mission use on uh, world boss invasion. Uh, if you are, uh, if you're not a newbie, because uh, if you are a newbie, you may wanna just use that uh, energy to clear story missions to get as many char characters as you can at uh, two uh, four stars. Uh, I'm actually gonna five star ancient one because I didn't see uh, him getting enough bios for his uh, uh, rank up and I'm gonna put him here so that he gets XP when I clear missions so uh, as I was saying uh, and you want to do that and get as many four star character, uh, characters and up uh, because uh, the, many, uh, the more you have, the more you get from uh, co-op missions, the more rewards you get from that. Uh, it's here, like the stages. I'm stage 5 and it's been like 2 months since I started and that's not a bad progress I might say, because uh, I only have one stage left. Stage 6 and if you get to stage 6 you probably get around uh, 500k gold in for each uh, co-op play clear uh, I mean like uh, the mission co-op rewards for each reward you get uh, about 500k and if you're lucky you may get two slots or three slots of gold so after you're done with all uh, your all of your daily missions what I uh, what I personally do is uh, try to waste all of the energy before I sleep and then after I wake up uh, it's almost full just like uh, what you can see here, it's almost uh, getting to 117 energy. And what you want to do at that moment is uh, remember the time uh, when your reset hits. For me it's 5 p.m. and right now it's 10.39 uh, uh, a.m. Which basically means 
I have about six hours till the reset hits or you can even check it uh, check it here when you see the tasks you have uh, and you see the timer here it resets in six hours so what you want to do is uh, calculate six uh, six hours means uh, 72 energy that you can generate and that's uh, because uh, in one hour you create uh, 12 energy and what you can do now is, since you know you can generate 72 energy, you can uh, s subtract from uh, 117 the max energy you can uh, have. For me it's uh, 117 for now, you, you may uh, have less en max energy or more if you're at uh, max level. Uh, or even more if you're VIP, I don't know if uh, VIP people, uh, people get more energy, I think like really high VIP accounts do get that. Uh, let me just check real quick. Where the hell is it? I think I've seen it. Mm. Where is it? Yeah, uh, like I don't know uh, on which uh, VIP it starts, but I ch just checked the level uh, 20 VIP uh, stats and it says that uh, they have 40 more uh, max energy, which Okay, you may need, but whatever, I'm not going to do that. And so, after you get pretty... Uh, so, what you want to do now is uh, calculate uh, your energy. So, 117 energy, uh, subtracting uh, 72 energy, you get, uh, you have uh, 45 energy left. And when you, uh, what you want to do is just waste all this energy by clearing story missions or anything you, you want to do maybe world boss invasion is a better idea uh which i should actually do uh, now that i think about it but uh first of all i just want to finish this video as fast as possible so i'm not gonna uh do some invasion clears and i'm gonna show you what i do so i i uh com keep clearing stories, uh, story missions till I have uh, 45 energy left and that way uh, like uh, probably half an hour before reset hits I'll have uh, pretty close to the max energy that I can pr uh, have uh, produced which was, which will mean that I've uh, used uh, all, all the possible energy that I can all day and it's a good way to never let uh, energy go to waste um, then after I do this, I'm gonna show you other things you you will need to do as a new uh, player uh, to maximize everything to have uh, your account get better the fastest way possible. Let me just uh, be done with this. So I have 48 energy now. I can clear one last minute uh, mission because 44 is pretty close to 45 anyway. So who cares? It's just uh, for uh, like five more minutes waiting because one energy needs uh, five minutes to create. So we're done. So basically that's all I do. Um, and I'm done for today. I can just uh, close this game and never care about, uh, care about it uh, till the reset hits. Now, I want to show you guys what you want to do as a beginner. Like from the day you start. Uh, at first you have to do the hero's journey missions and you have to basically just just do those missions never uh, don't uh, care about anything else and you'll be good uh, then you will need to do the story missions and get about up to uh, sta uh, stage uh, chapter 10 and stage 8 uh, if you can if your tunes are good enough and then all you want to do is uh, try to do uh, all these missions on, in the order that I'm, uh, I'm uh, telling you to do them. Uh, first of all, don't uh, don't ever do heroic quest. Like don't uh, don't organize your your daily routine uh, around heroic quests. I did because I bought uh, Arachnites quest because I thought it would be good but fuck that he sucks he's, done, uh, he's not fucking worth it I spent a six star ticket on him so I ha only have to buy it twice and this is the second time I bought it so this will be enough and after I finish uh, this 
month of uh, heroic quests for Arachnite, I'm just gonna choose uh, either Iron Fist, Jessica Jones or Luke Cage and I'm not gonna check the missions, I'm just gonna complete them as they uh, randomly go uh, just by doing my daily routine because uh, uh, that's that's a really bad thing you might do uh, if you uh, organize every mission you clear o uh, around heroic quest you're gonna use a lot of boost points and uh, if you waste your boost point boost, boost points and then you do your, your special missions or uh, your um, memory missions and dark dimension missions uh, you're gonna be left without energy because they ask for like for example this uh, strange memory missions and uh, dark dimensions if you don't have boost points they ask for like uh, 12 energy which is abysmal it it's a lot so basically it it just destroys your uh, your uh, chances of uh, completing every daily mission uh, if you waste a lot of energy like that and boost points what you want to do now is, uh, at first, as the reset hits, if you want to, you, you can uh, donate gold here to get uh, uh, Lion's tokens. And if you are just starting, maybe you don't want to do that to save a bit of gold. But if you have a, a few characters uh, built, you may want to do that to get... Uh, uh, this uh, advanced XP, EXP booster to get more like double uh, experience for your tunes or your advanced shield booster to get double experience for your shield level so that uh, you can get to your max energy faster to get to level 70 faster and after doing that uh, you may you also want to check in here to get a bit of uh, tokens I guess it's not that you really do need that and then you have to never forget to request something you want from here maybe uh, it may be bios or Nornstones or BAM or uh, anything you may need and then uh, you can start what you want to do now is go to special missions uh, choose uh, one enemy you want to go for and uh, basically you don't want to forget about uh, choosing a, a pack here which will uh, allow you to get uh, rewards ba based, uh, based on what challenges you complete don't even care about this you're just gonna do your day, your special missions and uh, after a long time uh, a lot of your uh, challenges will be completed because you'll complete them uh, eventually uh, you actually do want to complete this but uh, it, it takes a long time on my old account it took like uh, almost a year uh, because one of them gives you a tier 2 ticket one of them gives you a mythic uh, uniform upgrade ticket which are really good at rewards so what you want to do now is just pick one of these guys and uh, do all of the story, uh, the special missions by uh, repeating them. And you want to do that uh, because uh, these uh, special missions have uh, ally shifters, which will give you either ally shifters or uh, the, the Spidey one has an enemy shifter, it's Vulture, and you'll get bias from, uh, for them. Uh, and that way you can uh, rank them up. And at first you you will not want to just uh, go with one enemy the whole time till you get them to tier 2. First you just want to use all enemies and get them to 4 stars. Of course that's just to uh, upgrade your uh, co-op stage level. That's uh, how you can generate a, a lot of gold and, re uh, and uh, materials that will help you uh, build the, your tombs faster. You may want to go with one enemy till you tier two them, but that's not a, a good choice, which will uh, because it will make you progress into the game uh, a lot slower. But that's personal uh, taste, I guess. I'm just here showing you how you can uh, build your account as fast as possible. So that's the way you should do it if you want to do it fast. And uh, basically, you shouldn't use your hidden tickets uh, a lot or you you could use them and only leave uh, 20 uh, I'm, I'm not using them because I'm uh, 
for the moment I'm going with uh, uh, well, um, is this Mockingbird? No, it's not. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? With uh, Songbird, I'm get, I'm trying to get her to four stars because I'm close at uh, I'm close to being uh, at stage six in uh, co-op uh, play, which is the max uh, stage you can go. So as soon as I'm done with that, I'll start uh, getting them to six star and tier two. So basically, this is all you have to do. And I'm also gonna show you uh, which characters are good for Shadowland from these uh, special missions. Uh, first of, of all, uh, well, okay, we may want to go uh, in the order of their uh, power level and how good they are. So first of all, there is Crystal. She is the first one you should uh, get to ter tier two because she is really good. Um, then you have uh, uh, from Inhumans. That's all. Uh, like the others just fucking suck um, now uh, you have uh, Sandman he's really good he's a villain a combat villain there's a floor uh, that's perfect for him uh, it has three waves and I think the last uh, enemy is Captain America so uh, that's a really good character to have he will also help you in uh, ABX for the combat villain uh, uh, day and then you have uh, Craven. He's also really good. There's a perfect stage for him in Shadowland 2. Uh, he's like uh, he has high frames. He's uh, really fast. Uh, as long as you put a proc on him, he'll be good enough for that stage. Uh, and the stage I'm talking about is the one that has uh, Hela, and uh, I think uh, it has the villain from Doctor Strange and. Barn or Doe 2, or was it Wong? I'm not sure. I think it was Wong. But anyway, Craven is really good. You may want to go for uh, Mysterio next. He's pretty good. He just uh, doesn't have a lot of damage. So if you build him up really well, he'll uh, he'll be really good for you. Um, and from here, I basically don't like any of these guys. I, I think maybe Songbird can do something on the early stages and if you build her well uh, but I don't know she is like Mantis or Wasp without Uni she doesn't have a lot of energy or like a, a lot of damage um, from here I guess uh, Whiplash uh, I mean uh, Weekend is uh, really good too he's uh, a bit squishy like it's hard to keep him alive but I guess he is good for the stage where you have uh, uh, I guess War Machine and uh, uh, Winter Soldier with the Captain America suit, you know, the, the uh, and also Falcon, that stage with only three enemies, he can do that. I've, I've, I've done it on the old account, so I'm pretty sure he can do that. So basically, uh, first you want to start with uh, this and uh, complete all uh, special missions by playing them not manually but by repeating them not uh, you shouldn't like you really shouldn't use clear tickets here because even if you are uh, a veteran because uh, that means you get bonus uh, bios from the shifters which you can use for a native tier twos to rank uh, i mean rank them up or for uh, i guess uh, this uh, po uh, potential enhancing uh, characters to get them to level 70 so yeah that's uh, what you may uh, you want to do for special missions then after special missions you want to go to daily missions and I don't know what uh, you want to do with your account but I think uh, the best uh, missions to do from here are the golden XP chips, uh, chips uh, missions uh, do this twice of course because there's only two entries and you, you may clear this it's okay if you're a new a newbie with uh, who is uh, a free player and not uh, spending anything here you may want to do that um, by repeating it and not by using clear tickets so that you can uh, get uh, xp for your characters but that's your choice uh, for me, I can uh, get XP for characters uh, on any missions. It's uh, okay for me since I'm uh, VIP level 6. Uh, but after daily missions, now you want to go to Epic Quest. And assuming that you have started all of the uh, Epic Quests, 
and got to a point where you can do the missions, all of their missions, then uh, this is the order you should go uh, by. First of all, you go to Doctor Strange uh, uh, Epic Quest, and this is actually funny. Uh, it, uh, my my God, my shitty fucking accent. Uh, this is actually funny. Before the Deadpool update, uh, Strange's uh, Epic Quest uh, used to be on the left, and uh, Wolverine's Epic Quest used to be on the right. And this is actually a scummy way to do it because uh, it was easy for new players to even without uh, knowing it. Uh, spend the energy the way it, you, they should have because basically the brain uh, makes you use the left uh, like the the missions there are on the left so people would choose Doctor Strange to start and that's actually really smart because uh, uh, his missions uh, require a lot of energy and you want to do that because uh, if you do the missions the way I I'm telling you too, you will still have a bit, a bit of uh, boost points left so that you won't uh, have to waste 12 energy on these missions. After you, after you do special missions and daily missions, you'll have uh, enough boost points to do uh, these memory missions and also these dark dimension missions. And you won't uh, have to spend, uh, spend uh, 12 energy for uh, one of them. It's, it's almost perfect. So basically, here in uh, memory mission, uh, what you want to do is, of course, you want to do the mission you need to for uh, epic uh, for one of your epic quests. If you need the uh, ancient one at uh, four star and stuff like that, but after you've completed all of them and you may and you just need to clear them uh, the way you want to, uh, I the only guy that uh, you should care about here is uh, ancient one. He's the only one that can uh, do a floor without you having to try hard. And he's a really good uh, leader. He has a nice leadership for Doctor Strange, I think. Maybe it's not used a lot anymore, but it's good for a newbie. So basically what you want to do is uh, try to get all of these guys to four star, of course, for the co-op mission, uh, for the co-op rewards. And then you just want to do this three times each day. And then after that, you do the Dark Dimensions three times, uh, assuming that you have unlocked them. Uh, and uh, you can choose either one of those, of these, and you uh, you have to repeat these missions. Do not ever use the clear tickets, because you have uh, clear sh sh shifter bios, which you will also need for... Uh, Doctor Strange's uh, epic quest, but even if you're done with that, you you need the bios. It's always good to have as many bios as you can, as I said before, for the uh, leveling up of characters or for native tier 2s. After you're done with these missions, you go back, uh, you go to Wolverine's uh, missions, and what you want to do is uh, do all the tracking missions. You can clear ticket them, there is no shifter here. But if you want the uh, XP, you have to uh, repeat these missions and not use clear tickets because they do give an, a nice amount of XP for characters. After that, you want to go to Veiled Secret. Uh, I haven't un unlocked this yet. I'm uh, going to unlock it pretty soon. I'm close to actually finishing this uh, whole quest uh, along with Deadpool's quest. I have all the material, uh, materials, all the gold needed. I just need to get uh, Domino to 5 star and uh, Cyclops to 5 star, that's all. So basically all you want to do is do your Veiled Secrets and just uh, to show you guys, they appear this way and like the Big Twin uh, missions on Deadpool and you can clear uh, both of them, not like D Doctor Strange's uh, quest where you can uh, choose only one of them. Uh, you can uh, do... Uh, there are two sets of missions, so you can do both of them, you can clear ticket them if you don't need the, uh, the XP. Uh, they don't have any shifters. And that's it for Wolverine. If you also have uh, bought the deluxe packs, uh, which I have, uh, you want to repeat these, not clear ticket them, because uh, they have shifters. You get uh, genes for uh, uh, Rogue, uh, Beast, uh, Storm, and uh, Cyclops. So that's good to actually just repeat and not clear ticket. 
And then after you're done with uh, Wolverine's missions, uh, you go to uh, Deadpool's missions and you start with Massive Friends, you do both of these and then you actually go to the big twin ones because uh, uh, you're gonna want to finish with the clear ticket missions first as you can just clear ticket them and then care about the ones you should uh, uh, play by repeating them and not using clear tickets so basically when you have uh, ending the strife uh, unlocked too you will want a clear ticket uh, cutting cable then clear ticket ending the strife um, sorry about that, that guys that's an alarm uh, that i've set i'm sorry <laughs> it always happens in my videos <laughs> right so Anyway, after you're done with uh, the big twin uh, missions, you may uh, you will want to go with uh, the deluxe missions if you have uh, bought that uh, pack. And uh, uh, same as with Magneto, you don't want to clear ticket them because uh, she has uh, shifters, and uh, the shifters that appear there are uh, either Domino or Phantom X or uh, Colossus. And Colossus is very important. You. You really need him for uh, like two six star and six mastery uh, Deadpool, and you even need him to tier uh, to to get uh, uh, Strife. Here you have him. You need him at tier two. Basically, if you go slowly, you will one day get him. You don't need to pay crystals for anything. You shouldn't. It's a waste of crystals, in my opinion. And also one small tip, guys. In uh, these missions, uh, when uh, the mission begins, you see a s small window that says, uh, um, I guess, uh, Domino appeared, or Colossus appeared, or uh, Phantom X appeared. And if you don't like uh, which shifter appeared, you can just uh, force close the game. Like, go to the Recents button and... Uh, swipe uh, the game uh, to clear it and then open it again that way you haven't used your uh, daily entry and you can try again and see if you get uh, the shifter you want like if you want to get all only colossus uh, genes you can you can just uh, restart the game and then uh, try until uh, till you get his uh, genes and then let it finish that's a good way to if you have time, of course, because it's uh, it's gonna be really annoying. You'll have to restart a lot of times, and if you uh, don't mind about uh, doing that, that's the perfect thing you should do. Um, and then to end it, you have stupid X Men. You can do this uh, both, not like uh, the Doctor Strange one where you can only choose one. And if you uh, and actually these give. Uh, Colossus uh, genes too, but they actually don't uh, give them all the time. If you want to get them all the time, you will have to do the same thing I told you about uh, with Psylocke. You want to restart the game each time until you see that uh, uh, on on this uh, stage, Chromplate, uh, Chrom Comrade uh, uh, Phantom X appears as an ally shifter, but actually you get uh, genes for Colossus, so don't get the uh, mixed up there. It's okay. If you see uh, Phantom X, that means you'll get uh, the uh, Colossus genes. And then on a Psylocke out, it says that uh, Colossus has appeared, so you may want to restart until you see that uh, he has appeared. And so th that way you get uh, six uh, Colossus genes daily. And if you also get Colossus genes from here, you'll get eight Colossus genes daily, which is really nice. Uh, amount of uh, X genes for Colossus, you can get him to 6 star uh, in not a long amount of time uh, and a big amount of time, you can also go uh, to tier 2 slowly and surely you'll get him to tier 2 this way but that's a, uh, dependent on the time you have to play the game I basically almost never go and restart the game anymore, I used to it's just too annoying after a while, so... But if you're done with that, so basically you're done with uh, your daily uh, missions. Now you want to go to challenges. What I do is... Uh, I do Villain Siege first, or you can do with... Uh, with you can go with Legendary Battle first, 
since it's uh, like from the order they are displayed it's okay it doesn't change anything so what you want to do now is go to legendary battle uh, for new players i suggest you to open uh, this mission because you will get uh, thor for free if you just start it and that's uh, really nice you'll get him to six stars here you will get uh, i think black panther 2 to six stars uh, free uh, on this uh, one you will want to complete the first uh, mission the second mission and start the third one because on the third one you get uh, spider-man at six stars for free and on this one uh, you will have to complete the first one and then uh, start the second one because on the second one you get uh, Ant-Man at 6 stars for free. This is really nice for new players, you get free 6 star characters and you just basically want to do that. If you have bought the Black uh, Panther pack you, may, you will want to do only his missions here to get the mythic uh, chests because uh you basically immediately get the uh, mythic chests uh, if you have his uh, pack and if you don't have his pack you just check uh, which uh, missions will give you the highest uh, rarity of chests and do that five times daily it's a bit annoying after a while but just 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 keep doing it you'll get a, a few bios a few kit and gear up kits a bit of gold and it's really nice to have every day and after that you will go with villain siege uh, you can uh, just check uh, each stage before doing them to see if you have uh, a, a character that you should save for the next uh, for the other stages but after this update they actually added a, a feature that if you use a character that is required let's say Dr. Strange is, is a recommended character to use in the normal mode but you want to go with him on the hard mode if you click start it will say look Dr. Strange is needed on the normal mode do you still want to go with it and you may cancel it so that's pretty nice and what you want to do is uh, use as many recommended characters so you get bonus rewards here but if they're not good enough to complete it you can just use a main damage dealing character a good one and then two recommended it depends on what characters you have uh, after you're done you're done with villain siege uh, you go to world boss and complete the daily boss it's it's better to just uh, do the the daily boss and uh, that way you get uh, bonus uh, materials you may want to check uh, the challenges that you need to complete in order to unlock uh, these new characters cable scarlet witch uh, Ap apocalypse and also quicksilver i've done this in 30 seconds it was uh, psylocke that did it she only took uh, i think 17 seconds I was yeah that means I was really close to completing it in 15 seconds which is this uh, challenge here I'm gonna try it again I was too stupid I let her finish it I could have retried and I could have found a way to, to do it she can she can do it I'm pretty sure she is uh, level 66 with uh, her first gear being at 23 I think but anyway so you never in my opinion you never need to uh, use uh, crystals to unlock these guys like they're not worth uh, worth it you should never use crystals for these guys slowly you can uh, complete their challenges they're not that uh, hard and that way you'll get them for free and it's basically just a waste to to use crystal for uh, crystals for them and basically all you need all you have to do is do the daily boss for me today was uh, quicksilver and if you need to complete a challenge for these guys you may check uh, check their challenges what you have to do and complete them to get uh, to unlock them uh, but there's nothing more to it uh, for these guys that have uh, world boss ulti ultimate versions you will you may want to try if you can do one if you can't just do the normal one and if you can't do that because you're a real beginner you uh, you can do the easy one that's pretty good like it gives you almost max skill cooldown and a lot of damage a lot of defenses it's it makes it really easy for you 
and after that you, you may do alliance raid if you have a lot of alliance tokens but it's not that uh, necessary and if your alliance doesn't play it a lot you may just waste a lot of uh, tokens and you won't complete it so i don't know for me it sucks also one uh, good tip here on uh, villain siege you have chaos shop uh, where you can use uh, your chaos tokens tokens and your honor tokens that you get from uh, villain siege and from uh, timeline battle to purchase uh, stuff you may need uh, personally, I think you should uh, always go with uh, bios first uh, until the, you get all of these guys to four star for the co-op rewards, of course. And uh, same thing with honor uh, tokens. You may first want to go with uh, the bios to get them to four star. I guess the only worthy ones here are Ant-Man if you have his uniform but you will uh, already have him at 6 stars from the legendary battle anyway so that uh, it's not that necessary to pick him up yet. Uh, and there's Elsa if you have her uniform she's really nice and basically the other guys suck. Uh, you may want to get Warwolf because his uh, 5 skill has a nice uh, buff i think for physical uh, characters i'm not sure about that and there's she she hulk that you may want to uh, have because her leadership is really uh, really good for uh, abx uh, but you don't have to get her immediately you can slowly get her after that when you start getting serious about uh, abx and uh, then shadowland you can do shadowland uh, on your own free time whenever you can what i do is uh, i complete it in one go as you can see from the uh, videos that i upload i just split the videos i just uh, stop them and restart them for each floor but i do them immediately back to back then what you want to do is uh, do alliance battle do the normal mode and then do the extreme mode and first you want to check the types that uh, it requires because there are uh, there are days that uh, f like uh, i guess like this one here that require a combat type and then for the extreme mode there uh, there is no requirement or basically this is a better example if you require a combat villain after the alliance battle normal mode and you use your combat villain accidentally on the on that mode you won't be able to use him on uh, the abx uh, one because uh, if you have used him up you can't use him uh, on the other one again so you have to be careful about that you complete these two and actually for you guys uh, you have to know that I don't know if uh, ABX is such a uh, such an important thing you have to care about. All you have to do is uh, get get 100k for the ABX one because uh, that's uh, the max rewards you can get from that. And that uh, then after that is just your personal ego and uh, getting a lot more points, as much points as you can. Um, after a while though, after you get uh, a lot of points, it uh, will help you get to better uh, alliances that uh, want to be top in ABX and if you are uh, really good you may get to the top alliances and that uh, get selected uh, to compete in alliance tournament. I think it's the 15 top alliances, I'm not sure about that. Uh, there's an alliance tournament, you, you may want to cheer for a team if you like, that's bonus gold if they win, you know, just pick the team that has the more, uh, the most uh, likes and you may, uh, that team may win or they may get to the second spot, you never know. Uh, then you have timeline battle, uh, you just do this uh, 10 times. Uh, the way you want to, either an auto or manual. For me, uh, I think you should always go with manual because uh, you have to.
build your characters for PvP. It's the best thing you you may want to do with your account. Don't go for uh, ABX because ABX uh, doesn't have such a high reward. Uh, meanwhile, time, timeline battle, you just have to play 10 times each week and you will surely get uh, crystals because uh, uh, in the end of uh, each week you get uh, crystals depending on uh, where you stand in the ra rankings and it's a nice amount. If you keep playing, you will surely get to vibranium easily, so you'll get a lot, a lot of uh, crystals each week. And if get if you get uh, nice uh, tunes like uh, Quicksilver or Gene and stuff like that, you'll almost be surely in in the top ten of uh, Vibranium, which will get give, give you, uh, I think, uh, two hundred uh, crystals each week, which is an, a real nice amount of crystals to get for free. And after you've, uh, you're done with all this, you go to co-op and do your co-op play missions till you get all five rewards and then you're basically done. Uh, you may want to spend the remaining energy if you have any uh, on, uh, you know, uh, story missions or by playing uh, Invasion. Invasion is a lot better. To get uh, gold and bi random bios, story missions is just a sure way to get a, a, a character's bios that you want. Like for example, if you want only Spider-Man bios, you should do story missions and you'll get them surely. Um, instead of getting hella bios, uh, just as I got right now. After you're done with that, uh, you spend all the energy uh, that's left to... Uh, like before you sleep so that they get generated while you sleep and if there's an event quest you of course need to complete the challenges here like for example do 10 story missions and uh, 10 dimension rifts or 5 as I have it here and then spend them to get stuff on uh, the event shop and then after so after you wake up and do the the little calculation for how much energy you may use that I told you guys on the beginning, and then if you are like when you are close to the daily reset, what you want to do is this: you you don't want to touch the energy that you got from uh, the daily challenges or all of the other stuff. Like you you have to save it till the end, and then what you want to do. Let's uh, suppose that uh, we are almost full of on energy here, and uh, it's almost uh, the time when uh, the reset hits. You may wanna uh, what you wanna do is let's say I have a uh, hundred and fifteen uh, energy out of one hundred and seventeen or one hundred and sixteen. What you wanna do is uh, get the full energy charge here which will give you like almost double the ex uh, the energy and then you will uh, have to get the daily recharges from the friends points the assemble points that you get from friends and then after that you will want to go to the store uh, acquire upgrade characters hero chest and open that chest too you always don't want to do this uh, before uh, reset hits, because if you do it this way, you will have a, around 500 energy that you can spend on uh, the daily missions after the reset. So you get the free hero. Sorry guys, my uh, recording stopped because I almost <laughs> like I used all my uh, internal storage on uh, the phone. So as I was saying, after you get the the free hero here on the store. On the chest, you you want to go to alliance, uh, go to challenges, uh, uh, grab this uh, daily account uh, alliance challenge energy, uh, and then go to support, uh, claim the requested uh, uh, support uh, thing you have claim uh, you have requested before, and then uh, you go to challenges, you grab uh, all of this energy here on the right. And the uh, the crystals. And then you do your daily trivia, and after that you go to inbox and uh, grab everything from the chests. 
and they, there are uh, times when they uh, give away shiny gift box I, I'm not sure how they're called what they're called but uh, some of them contain energy that's why you should keep them before reset because you don't want to get energy before uh, reset because it's just wasted energy that you could have used for the next day and uh, here on the gift uh, menu you you will see if it says expires in uh, uh, two hours or an hour you you will claim it that day if it says four days you just keep it till it says uh, till it's almost in the end of the, at the end of the uh, the expiration time and then you uh, you want to claim it um, after that if you if you are uh, close to the weekly reset which is uh, which happens on Thursday I'm, sh I'm I think or Friday depending on uh, where you live here on challenges you want to uh, grab this uh, weekly challenge too because it will just be wasted if you don't and here on uh, the daily challenges you will want to grab these uh, energies on the left side the 55 one and the 100 one and uh, that way it won't get wasted either and that's what you basically do you are set to and ready to go for the next day you will almost have like 500 energy and on the thirst on thursday or friday you will have around 600 energy or 700 day energy some days Depending on how much energy you have, uh, you have from the the weekly challenges, and you're basically done. On the lab, you just claim uh, the antimatter and maybe sometimes purchase something if it's something you need. If it's something that's really nice, I don't need dimension debris because uh, I get a lot of them for uh, from uh, co-op. And you may want to produce something if you need for a heroic quest, I mean uh, for an epic quest or stuff like that. That's it. I guess the only uh, lab item you, uh, I mean the only lab uh, feature you want to rank up is the processor. Because uh, it will uh, unlock a lot of materials that you can create here in the end, like this uh, Phoenix Feathers and Crown Crystals require you to be level 13. So, and before uh, an update that uh, happened a long time ago, you would uh, get a, a lot of uh, slots with stuff you could buy if you ranked it up, but now the item shop always shows uh, six uh, slots even if you are if you, if you are at level one or level 15, level 15 it doesn't make a difference the only thing it uh, makes a difference about is the mission shop the stuff you can get from it so it's basically shit you don't need to do it anymore and that's pretty much it guys sorry that my recording stopped I was about to be finished with it and of course you can upgrade your cards to slowly get a, a nice set and nice card effects they are very important for this game sometimes you will need to i mean daily uh, you will always uh, need to upgrade uh, an obelisk daily uh, you should choose the one that's nice uh, that has nice stats on the orange uh, text and then uh, re-roll them till you have a damage proc like this one. I, I'm not keeping this, it's just uh, that I don't have obelisks to uh, use to level this up because uh, this proc sucks. Uh, and then uh, you will need to re-roll it till you have a nice proc and uh, till or till you have uh, invincibility for 5 seconds, that's good for PvP. And for ISO 8, uh, you will sometimes need to sell some of them or just use them to upgrade other ones because uh, they take a lot of space. As you can see, 268 uh, ISO 8s. Um, for cards, you will need to upgrade them on your own uh, time whenever you want to. I may uh, upgrade them right now or I'll, I'll save them because maybe there will be a heroic quest that will need that. Uh, as a challenge uh, here there's nothing you need to do and here you can see all the bios that you have but that's basically it guys 
all you want to do is uh, rank up characters, level them up as much as you can. First, uh, as soon as you get them to 1 star, you should level them up to 40, because uh, when you get them to 4 stars, they are all, uh, already at level 40, and they will count towards the co-op rewards uh, counter. And for me, I have like, uh, let's see, um, I have 24 6 stars and uh, 14 5 stars and 48 six, uh, 4 star characters, which means I have uh, like uh, 70 and then 82 and 4 more, it's like 86 characters uh, above uh, 4 stars, which means I only need to get like... Uh, 15 more characters to go to get to 101 characters that's as many as you need to, to get uh, the maximum uh, co-op rewards and that's basically it. you just need to rank them up and then uh, when you have them to at when you have them at the uh, six stars and they're good characters you need to rank their mastery up so that you can use them on shadowland put a proc on them and uh, buy their uniforms if you have the crystals for uh, exgen characters I, I started using using the crown shards because they were they were just gonna be wasted because I couldn't get any more from the missions as I had maxed out their quantity so that's why I upgraded them for Klee I upgraded her because she is needed for, uh, for uh, like the Doctor Strange's ep epic quest and that's it guys basically and it's all you have to do, and slowly you will get a lot of nice characters that you can use on uh, Shadowland. And uh, this way you will save a lot of gold, because you you are not gonna be rolling like uh, ISO 8 sets. They don't really need them to uh, get Shadowland done. As long as you get to 30 Shadowland, you can then start uh, rolling ISO 8s for ABX or for... Uh, PvP or for World Boss Ultimate. For me, I just you only need to just uh, your obelisk and maybe some skills that need uh, to be ranked up so that you have 100% of immunity or uh, more uh, summoner start uh, stats stats for uh, Loki and stuff like that. But no ISO 8 set if uh, the character can do a stage. No no need after that. And then you you always have to get their gears to 20, it's really good to do that. Even if you have a native tier 2 and you got them to 6 stars, you're not done yet. You need to you need to get their gears up to 20 or they will not be as strong as they would have been. For example, uh, Quicksilver, uh, Quicksilver, let's say you got, them, you got him to level 60, uh, 6 stars, 6 mastery. He's gonna suck if you don't get his uh, gears up to 20. That's when he gets really good. And basically that's it guys. If you have forgot if you think you have forgotten about any mission, you you can check here on the uh, I guess that's a task list you have. And if you're not sure, maybe because uh, I'm not sure they show up there, you you may check them individually on tracking missions. I think these don't show up there. And uh, the ones for X-Force, the memory, uh, messy friends one, you can just check so that you don't forget and that's it. You you will get where I am in no time, you'll get uh, as much as possible out of your account. And that's it guys, I'm sorry that this was a really really long video, I hope, I hope that uh, you didn't get bored. Uh, as I always say, watch my videos in two times speed, it's easier for you, it's easier to uh, watch the whole video and my shitty slow English allows you to understand me even it in a uh, two times speed so that's really nice too and that's it guys I'm really tired I talked a lot I hope you like this uh, I guess this is all I can say for now I don't know what else to teach you but if you have anything else that you want to know, you may comment or you may ask me personally if you are from the Facebook uh, group. But this is it, guys. See you on the my normal uh, Shadowland episodes. I will keep doing them uh, every week. If you 
want me to upload in different ways you may ask me to but this is it for this video see you guys in normal videos bye bye